NFL players live the high life. They travel in private jets, live in mansions, and wear perfectly tailored suits to fancy nightclubs and movie premieres around the world. It's no secret that NFL players are wealthy, and surely you've heard chitter chatter about how they're overpaid for the work they do. I don't have any horses in that race, so I wouldn't pass judgment there. But I will say, their salary isn't something to scoff at. Researching this video, I had a bit of regret that I didn't put a little more effort into tossing the old pigskin back in the day. But I suppose we all make our millions in our own way, and my way certainly included fewer concussions. Today, we're going to take a look at the highest paid NFL players and see exactly how much they're making every year. Number 5. Carson Wentz $32 million Even as the lowest earning player on our list, Carson Wentz still rolls in a cool $32 million per year. His recently signed four-year contract includes a $16 million signing bonus, as well as another possible $16 million in incentives over the next four-year period. So, how exactly has Carson Wentz climbed the ladder to join the Millionaire Club? You may know him as the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles, but did you also no, he played for the Patriots. <clears throat> the Century High School Patriots, that is. Carson Wentz entered as a 5'8 freshman and left as a 6'5 valedictorian with football championships under his belt, and he quickly got drafted to the NFL. His career has been a bit rocky, though. He was out towards the tail end of his 2017 season after suffering from the pro sports player's curse, a torn ACL. One might think there'd be some bad luck, and he'd move right along. But 2018 didn't go much better in terms of his health. A major knee injury took him out of the first two games, and a returning back injury took him out of the season early. But don't worry, his luck's been getting better so far this year. Well, unless you count the brutal concussion he got nine minutes into the Eagles' final game of the 2019 season against the Seahawks. Now, I'm not going to say exactly whether I think that was a dirty hit or not, but I sure hope the Seahawks had some hand sanitizer on standby. Even with all the injuries, the Eagles seem to think they've really scored with Carson on their team, and it's easy to see why. He's the first player in Eagles history to throw over 4,000 yards, and he's landed the most touchdowns in a season and the most pass completions in their history. So, yeah, this guy's good at his job. And he makes a ton of money. But he's got to be spending the money on something stupid, right? A Lamborghini. A football field with his face mowed onto it. Well, not exactly. In 2017, Carson launched AO1 Foundation, a Christian nonprofit focused on creating free activities for youth and veterans. Since there are rumors about that he met his wife while they were both on a mission trip to Haiti, it's no surprise he journeyed down that charitable avenue. Number 4. Jared Gaw. Off. $33.5 million. Oh my goff. The next player on our list makes a lot of money. That's right, Jared Goff, the quarterback for the Rams, is the next lucky and wealthy player on our list. So, what's he looking at yearly? Just about $33.5 million. To put that into perspective, it's estimated that the average American spends around $1 million in their entire lifetime, meaning Jared Goff is making more than 33 times that in a single year. The four-year contract is worth $134 million, so it's safe to say Jared isn't strapped for cash, and the career he's forged has made sure he probably never will be again. His record in the NFL is also fairly impressive. In 2018, Jared had 4,688 yards, the second-highest single-season total in franchise history. In addition, he's also nabbed the top spot for the most completed passes in a single game with an impressive 45 thrown passes. When he's not throwing footballs absurd distances, Jared has a few other things that keep him busy. He's the owner of JG16, a clothing line with a name that's a bit on the nose. While one might assume he's selling cool sports apparel, challenging the likes of Nike or Adidas for their spot, uh, that's not exactly it. Jared's company is made entirely of shirts with JG on them, although the models look pretty content with it. With his football money and apparel money, it's clear Jared is rolling in the dough. However, he likes to spread that dough around as well. Born and raised in California, Jared Goff helped start California Strong, 
a non-profit that goes towards individuals in California who are victims of wildfires and mass shootings. Number 3. Aaron Rodgers $33.5 million. All right, cheeseheads, this one's for you. Aaron Rodgers, the Packers quarterback, makes $33.5 million per year playing for your beloved team. His four-year extension comes with a $57.5 million signing bonus. Clearly, Aaron isn't going to have to worry about money anytime soon. He's the NFL's all-time career passer rating leader, holds the lowest interception percentage at a startling 1.5 and holds the best touchdown to interception ratio in the league. He's widely considered by many to be one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But it wasn't always that way. It really wasn't always that way. It's no secret that Aaron isn't the most buff guy out on the field. Though he led his team to victory in high school again and again, he was looked over by recruiters largely due to his size. Well, you know what they say about size. And in this case, apparently, it didn't matter. Aaron tried to play football for Florida State, but he was rejected. He ended up playing at a local community college in California and was genuinely considering quitting altogether and just becoming a lawyer. Lucky for him, he eventually got recruited by the Bears, then made his way onto the Packers, where he shattered records left and right and made more money than he probably ever imagined. Oh, and he's also dating Danica Patrick, so I guess things worked out quite okay for old Aaron. Number 2. Ben Roethlisberger, $34 million. The runner-up for the highest paid NFL player is none other than Ben Roethlisberger. The quarterback for the Steelers, his two-year extension earns him $34 million a year with a $37.5 million signing bonus. Not only was he the youngest quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl, he's also cemented himself as a Steelers star. With the most passing yards as a Steelers quarterback and the most passing touchdowns in the team's history. However, he and Aaron both had a similar issue trying to get themselves in prominent positions on important teams. In high school, Ben wasn't a quarterback. Who was, you might ask? I mean, he's gone on to be such a good player. He's gone on to make millions and millions of dollars playing football. Who could have been better than him? Well, the coach's son. That's right. Ben wasn't able to land the spot as quarterback on his high school team until the coach's son graduated. His former coach has even poked fun at himself for saying, I'm a nationally known knucklehead. Well, at least he was right about something there. Though Ben's career has had a few rough patches, from sexual assault allegations to six-game suspensions, Ben has remained with the Steelers for a long 16 years. Number 1. Russell Wilson $35 million. We've finally reached the highest paid NFL player. Any guesses? Well, if you guessed anyone but Russell Wilson, you're wrong. Yes, Russell Wilson is the highest paid NFL player. His four-year contract will earn him $35 million a year, not including a $65 million signing bonus. Ugh, don't you just wish you could get $65 million for signing a few papers and agreeing to stay with a team that desperately wants and needs you? Now, if you've seen any Seahawks games, chances are you've seen this dude running circles around everyone on the field. Actual circles. He's known for his mobility, and it shines in almost every play. He's been the NFC Offensive Player of the Week nine times and has the second highest passer rating in NFL history. He's viewed by some as one of the most dynamic, exciting quarterbacks to watch on the field. But what if I told you he wasn't always beloved by Seahawks fans? In the 2012 draft, where Russell was picked, the Seahawks received a lot of flack for adding him onto the team. Little did anyone know, Russell was going on to become the highest paid player in the NFL. But Russell doesn't just play football. He's played minor league baseball for years and is even invited to train with the Yankees for spring training. He's played with both the Rockies and the Rangers. Though he might not be the best baseball player, he did strike out at his only at-bat in 2018 after all. He's still a lot better than I am, so I can't really judge. In addition, there is one nice little detail that makes his journey to success just a little bit sweeter. Russell's father was a Yankee fan who recently passed, and Russell promised him he would one day wear a Yankees jersey, and he certainly kept that promise. So, there you have it, the highest paid 
paid players in the NFL. What do you think of all the money they've earned? Do they deserve that much? Who else do you think should be on this list? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury, Pip Pip, the doodly doo.